Hello, my name is David from Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents. Today I'm in Eastview Avenue in Plumstead. And I have this 1930s style three bedroom semi detached house to show you. Now, this house is offered with immediate vacant possession, and the property briefly comprises entrance port to the front, entrance hall, ground floor cloakroom, spacious through lounge, kitchen, and you've got a single store extension that runs across the back, lovely 80 foot garden to the rear, upstairs are two doubles and a single bedroom with an upstairs shower room. You've got gas intra heating and double glazing. And as you can see in this video there, there was a garage along the driveway there, but they've converted that into a workshop now, where you've still got space for about three, possibly four cars. So I'm just gonna turn around and show you this street briefly, and then we'll go inside and start showing you around. There's a proper look at the outside of the house. As I mentioned, space for three cars easily, and possibly a fourth. I'm just gonna turn around just to show you the road. So as you can see, it's a nice tree-lined road similar 1930s style houses around the area. We're about a mile and a half I'd say from Woolwich Town Centre where you have the cross rail link, the mainline station and the DLR. So let's pop inside now and start showing you around. Okay so we just come inside the porch at the front so it's a double glazed porch. Just bring to you your attention there is a crack under the bay window there which has appeared over the last few months. Um, the owner said the insurance company are looking into it and having it monitored, but they don't think it's anything to worry about. But we thought we would bring that to your attention, okay, as a viewing public. Right, and then we've just got a double glazed door, which I've opened up, which leads into the entrance. So it's quite a nice spacious entrance hall here. You've got a double glazed window to the side, so you've got a, a nice bit of natural light coming in. So we've got laminate wood flooring that runs throughout the hallway here. As you can see, carpeted stairs go up the first floor. So here we've just got a small understairs cupboard, which is primarily a bit of storage, and it houses your fuse board gas and electric meters in there okay very handily we have a downstairs toilet so again you've got a window to the side there sink and your toilet so that is very handy let's go into the living room so as you can see it's a through lounge diner The house has been very nicely cared for over the years. A little bit dated now in terms of the decor, but like most properties, you're going to go in there and want to put your own stamp on it, regardless of whether or not it's been freshly painted and decorated anyway. So in that regard, I feel it's a nice house you can move straight into and just do any changes you want to do as and when you wish to do them. So a double glazed bay window at the front there. Brick style fireplace with fire. Radiator there and also another radiator up and down. A nice soft carpeting underfoot as well. We've got sliding patio doors that lead out to the extension to the rear, which I'll show you shortly. So this is a very spacious room. And from the hallway back into the kitchen. So it's got a lot of fitted wall and base units here. So the kitchen again isn't super modern, but you have got a lot of a lot of storage. So there's cupboards there, cupboards there, across there, under the sink, and also there as well. So it's a well thought out fitted kitchen. Again, a window to the side, so Again, lots of light coming in from there. We've got an integrated oven, five burner gas hob, and an extractor hood there. Space for a slim line dishwasher as well. Got a twin bowl sink unit there. And then we have a door that leads out to the extension. 
So a lovely size room this as well. Again with heating, so it's a proper extension this. So you've got a double radiator there. You've also got another one over there as well. Double glazed windows and door that lead out to the garden. So in here, there's a space for a fridge freezer, as you can see there. At the time of doing this video, we're not sure what the owners are doing regarding the appliances. So obviously, if you are interested in buying a house, you can obviously ask us regarding these appliances at the time of making your inquiry or offer. So space for a washing machine and plumbing there as well. And I'll show you the garden at the end. It's a nice size garden that. Right, let's go back through the kitchen. Upstairs to the first floor. So quite a nice size landing actually. Stand back here a little bit just to give you a feel. So not a good size again with a window to the side. And this cupboard here houses your boiler. Okay. Right, let's go into the front bedroom. So good size double room. So there's a double bed in it and there's lots of space either side. That's the view of the front of the house there. From the front of the house, should I say. Let's go into the rear bedroom. Now this room has got a fantastic view, so they'll probably use this, I would say, as the master. So you've got a bank of fitted floor to ceiling wardrobes there. Again, a nice carpet, nice soft underfoot. Again, a double bed in this room, comfortably sitting in here. And then we've got this uh, lovely view over the garden. Now I'm going to try and open the window and show you some of the views out the back there because we really have some fantastic views. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. My camera's not allowing me to do it at the time of this video, so apologies for that. But hopefully you can see you've got some great views. So really, really nice outlook here. Okay, let's go into the small bedroom, bedroom number three. And as you can see, there's a single bed in here and there are wardrobes, so forth, and you've still got room to walk around the bed. So single rooms go, it fits your purpose entirely. There's a lot of uh, bedrooms which haven't got beds in and sometimes people can't see if they can fit a bed in, but you can certainly do that, no problem in here. Right, and then let's go into the shower room. So it once was a bathroom, but they have converted it into a shower room. So there's now a large walk-in shower enclosure here. Got a shower unit there. Got a vanity wash basin there. We would covered over it. Put your toilet there. All the walls are fully tiled throughout. Room towel radiator right there. Oh, that's a very nice bathroom suite. Right, and uh, just want to show you the loft as well. So uh, I'm just going to pan up 
as you can see that's the loft hatch I'm now going to pull down the loft ladder and show you around there so as you can see I've now pulled down the loft ladder and I'll see you up in the loft right we're now in the loft as you can see on the floor it's primarily boarded throughout that's the hatch we just come up the lighting is via extension lead so there's actually no power as such in the loft now the pitch or apex of the roof is very very high I'm about six foot tall and there's a good two two and a half feet above me in the apex so if you ever did want to go into the loft do a loft conversion subject to the normal planning permissions and building control approvals that you have to go through uh, you'd get a very decent loft up here because the head height is really really high so let's go out to the garden now okay so we've just come out into the garden from the extension at the rear got a very large decked patio area here the garden is southerly facing so you get a lot of sun in the summer months got a nice lawn garden there you've got a shed at the rear greenhouse there so it's a lovely garden that lots of nice bushes And we've got this workshop here to show you as well. This was a garage once upon a time, but they've converted it into a workshop. So as you can see there, the changing brickwork, there was a garage door once upon a time here. And parking wise, you can get about three cars along your driveway. So you get about two in the front behind these gates here. Two cars there, and you can get another one along here as well possibly a fourth depending on the size of the car but certainly three cars comfortably so let's go inside here and it's now a fantastic workshop got power and light in this building Lots of shelving, worktop space as well. It is a really nice space, if you like. Doing some DIY and making things, this is a perfect room, I feel, for that. Okay, and that pretty much concludes the tour of this house. So, if I haven't already mentioned, it's offered with immediate vacant possession. There's no forward chain at all. If you'd like to arrange your viewing please call Beaumont Gibbs Estate Agents on 0208 319 7600. Many thanks for watching.